Hello, I'm Erin McLaughlin, Vice Dean of Undergraduate Affairs in the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm from Dallas, Texas. As an undergraduate, I studied at the University of Texas at Austin. I did my graduate work at the University of Virginia, and I've been teaching at WashU since 2001. Arts and Sciences has a set of requirements known as the IQ curriculum. It includes both a broad foundation of learning in the core skills of writing, numeracy, and social thought, and courses in the core academic areas of the humanities, social and behavioral sciences, natural sciences and math, and language and cultural diversity. In order to graduate, you'll need to complete a total of 120 units, at least 90 of which are in arts and sciences. Those 90 units will include at least one major and other elements of the IQ curriculum. That might sound like a lot, but there are many courses you can take to complete the requirements. The goal is to help you develop a distinctive academic plan that reflects your personal intellectual curiosity and the tradition of the liberal arts. And don't worry, your four-year advisor will be with you throughout the pro whole process to make sure you are staying on track. Explore. We're home to over 80 majors and minors, many in departments or disciplines that might not have been represented in your high school coursework. Use your time as a first year to take courses and subjects that interest you or that sound intriguing that you haven't yet had the opportunity to explore. I love Holmes Lounge, which is located just off the Brookings Quad. It's the university's original library, and when you enter it, you can feel the history of the generations that have studied and conducted research at WashU. It's a great place to read or to have a quick chat and a coffee with a friend. I have many favorite spots in St. Louis, and it's hard to choose between them. But recently, I've been enjoying going on bike rides in Forest Park, which is a, which is a huge, gorgeous park adjacent to campus. It's got everything, natural beauty, stunning buildings from the 1904 World's Fair, and people of all walks of life relaxing and enjoying the fresh air. It always raises my spirits. The people. Our faculty, students, and staff are an outstanding, engaging, diverse group of people. Our students are serious about the things that matter to them, and it's such a joy for me to be able to work with them. They always inspire me when I begin to flag toward the end of the semester.